All right, Jonathan. First segment, as always. Skirk. Let's dig deep. Ladies and gentlemen, the fine dig people at deep. the fine people at What Do You Meme gave us Let's Dig Deep questions for hashtag couples. Hashtag What Do You Meme. Yeah, there you go. And uh, I keep hashtagging gonna... him on Twitter, and I'm really waiting for somebody to finally respond. What do you meme? We're going to keep hashtagging you. What until... else do you have going on? What do you have going on except making stellar card games? Like, I'm talking yeah. like absolutely stellar card games. So bring it on. We got three faces of this beast. Just say hey. That's all we want. Just say hey. Hey, how you doing? Thanks for, us- thanks for purchasing my card game. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, this game comprises of three columns of questions, one icebreaker, one deep question, and one deeper question. And we are going to pull these out at random an icebreaker, a dizzeep question, and a dizzeeper question. I see your organization over there, man. Good job, TD Bomb. You like that? All right. So, number one, the icebreaker. Do you eat crusts off your sandwiches? Do you eat yeah, crust I ain't off? a little I mean, bitch. I, I mean, I eat the crust. Like, do you, like, are they asking, like, do you, like, go all the way around the no, it's just because like there's or... people who like want their sandwiches with the crust off because they're pampered little piss ants. You eat the crust, okay? You get the sandwich, you get the bread, you're going to eat the whole damn thing, yeah, eat the whole and thing. you're going to be happy about it, okay? You're not getting the crust removed. You're going to eat the sandwich, okay? And if I give you the two heels with nothing but peanut butter on it, right. that's what you're going to get. That's what you're going to get. And you're going to smile, and you're going to say thank you. I like the heels of a loaf of bread. Personal. Yeah, I'm fine with it. Like, like I'm, yeah. I, I've, I've actually really never known anybody in my life who's been like, no, no crust. Um, and if I, I don't, did, I, don't, I we wouldn't I, be friends. I'd probably do some kind of physical altercation against them. We wouldn't be friends. Simple as that. I, I refuse to be a friend with someone who needs the, the crust. I, there are people off. like you know, obviously, it's part of movies, it's part of pop culture, where it's like no crust, you know, whatever. So there's obviously people who like that. Uh, yeah. But I've never well, I mean, met it's a, them, and it's I'm a question for a reason, I guess. So. Yeah. Um, no, I, I just yeah, crust, the whole thing. One hundred percent. Like, why would I want to not eat the sandwich? Like, maybe if I'm full, I'm giving someone the benefit of the doubt. Like, it's too much food. I don't know. Like, I don't. No, I eat the whole fucking sandwich. Quit being a baby. Deep question. How many? F- how many phones have you gone through? Broken, lost, stopped working, etc. How many phones have you gone through? Well, see, we're at that age where that's a crazy question because we had analog phones um, during our childhoods, right? So, you know, uh, this analog is, phones this is... break, stuff like that, fall off the wall, the cord snaps, you have to replace the cords, things like yeah, that. Yeah, this is strictly mobile phones, we, I think. This going, is mobile. going into our, you know, teenage years and adulthood, we got mobile phones. Right. Um, and how many have we ever, like... <sighs> I can't give you an answer to that because I always upgrade. I always do those kind of things. Um, say upgrade I do every. Have a story about it. Let's um, say every, let's say upgrade real quick. Let's do the math. You upgrade every two years, on average. Pretty much, yeah. Average. Okay, and we started getting phones around ninety eight. Was when ninety eight. Ninety eight, ninety nine. Yeah, that's when I got my first phone. I got my first Nokia series playing Snake okay. on that bad boy. With, Same here. Uh, so that's twenty three uh, years. Did just PCS. So that's that 23 years. Let's round it down to 22 just for math's sake. That's 11 phones, 11 mobile phones. So I'd say probably around 11 mobile phones sounds about right. Okay. Sounds yeah, about right. Sounds about right. Yeah. I've never like broken one and be like, been like, well, that's it. I got to get a new phone. I've never, never had that situation before. Um, well, I went from a uh, BlackBerry to Apple um, probably around 2009. Uh, and when I got Apple, I was like, holy crap, uh, I, I love this phone. And it was like the Apple four, uh, or the iPhone four. Um, mm-hmm. and, uh, I really loved it. And it had a great Altel plan at the time because it was still Altel. Mm-hmm. Um, and the Bush got bought out by Verizon. So, um, I was like 40 bucks a month, unlimited, everything grandfathered mm-hmm. in bing, bang, boom. It was fantastic. Well, I have my iPhone 4, and I was in um, uh, Kima, Texas, the Kima mm-hmm. Boardwalk at um, Schlitterbahn, which is a water park. And I had some uh, some friends come and visit me, and, like, the whole trip, I'm sitting there going down water slides. I'm video recording in the water because I had an otter box and everything. And I was like, woo, it was great. I was waiting. I could not wait to post all the things that I did that day because it was so awesome, like, going down all the tubes and slides and everything mm-hmm. like that. 
So going around the wave pool before we were leaving, um, and we decided, hey, let's go one more lap. So we're going one last lap, and we're at like 100 yards to get out, and waves are coming through, and this little shit kid comes across. He's swimming, and he like kicks, hits my pocket. <laughs> And I like push him off me. I'm like, you little <laughs> bitch. We get out. When I get out, I grab my phone. He kicked open the little, little flat oh, box. The otter that box. your yeah. phone in your otter box. Mm. He kicked it open and all the water got in there. Oh. Instantly drove to like the CVS, got a bag of rice, put it in there, drove home back to um, Houston. So it was about, you know, 45 minutes or so. Yeah. Um, let it sit there all night. Phone completely died. Dead. Had to upgrade my phone. And when I upgraded my phone, Verizon made me do a new contract. They, you, you got kicked out of your... Yeah. And I got a new phone, had to get a new contract because it was now LTE, mm -hmm. um, inter, like service provider, um, and no longer offered like, you know, like I guess the 3G that was, you know, whatever. They got us, they got to work around to get me out of my contract and yeah. they did. Yeah. So... That was my big phone um, replacement type story uh, that, that really pissed me off. Which uh, mm. now you know converted over to <laughs> converted over to rollover uh, minutes, boy. Yeah, Give me well, them actually, you know, Verizon has been great. Like I have unlimited everything still, and everything just paying a higher fee. Um, but you know, you know, whatever. Now I'm on my Apple 11, Apple. Uh, I mean, iPhone 11 Pro Max. Yeah, and uh, the uh, the 13 just came out actually. And it um, looks good. Tomorrow. It looks good. Um, so the camera is impressive. To, uh, to maybe uh, upgrade to that. Okay. Uh, uh, and then I traded my phone and, you know, just get into them. So we'll see. Whatever. We'll see. That's my that's my phone story. Um, you, get, you, you got one? You got anything significant that ever happened with your I, phones? I tried an iPhone one time. Like, I, I've always been an Android guy. Like, ever since Android came up. Because I started with the Nokia, as always, because I'm awesome. And then uh, jumped over to, like, my first, like, true smartphone I got. I was work because it was all flip phones. Um, and then I eventually saw, um, I was working at Best Buy and everybody at Best Buy had to have the new technology. That's kind of how you like, kind of like stood up with the crowd and everything like that. It was having like the, the same technology. We all got employee discounts. So everybody got like the best TVs. Everybody got the best entertainment centers. Everybody got the best phones. And the phone that everyone had was the, uh, I forgot what the, who made it, but it was called the Trio, but it was one of the first phones. It, it was the, it was the Blackberry's competitor. It was a yeah. BlackBerry's competitor, and it was another one of the phones with all the buttons on it and everything. Uh, and it was the first phone I had that actually had like internet on it um, that I could search things, um, and that was pretty cool. But like that phone sucked; it just blew. And then I uh, eventually jumped over. I think to my Verizon. first internet phone was like a THC or something like that, not or TCH mm. or mm, THC sure. is THC is pot thing. marijuana. Yeah. But, but they have this have the same <laughs> the same initials, <laughs> the same cadence. Uh, so TCH then. Yeah. Um. So uh, when I eventually jumped over to like smart, like true smartphones, um, I think the first Galaxy phone was my first true smartphone, and then I, I, I went Android and never looked back. Um, essentially, and uh, but then there was one year I, um, uh, when I was married, uh, my wife had an Apple phone, we had a MacBook Pro, we had an iMac, we just had a house full of Mac products, an iPad. Um, it just made sense for me to the odd man out. Yeah, it just made sense to like try out Apple. It was just compelled to like connect all of our accounts and devices to one one thing to see what Apple was all about. Tried that phone for a couple of years, uh, and then swiftly moved back to uh, Android. I, I like Apple products. I don't think they're bad. I, I really don't think they're bad. Yeah, I ever since there's... I had it, it, it's like iPhone four, and ever since then, I've I've been on it. I, I don't yeah. want another phone. I did try Android um, briefly in tablet form, um, and I just didn't like it i get the appeal to it but mm -hmm. i like how android i mean i like how apple is just very precise on how they want everything and this is how it is um and i to i enjoyed that that comfort in it where it just fault, boom, boom, everything's easy um and i don't fault. have to worry about adding all these extra bs look i am the world's worst at um remembering passwords I have different passwords for everything. I'm just the worst. At, I'm, I'm constantly having to recover passwords. Just it's it's my it's if I have a character flaw, that is it, <laughs> and um and that's it. That's the only thing. I'm pretty much perfect after that. Um, oh yeah, and, and that's what everybody says. Yeah, exactly. Um, so uh, 
Apple makes recovering your Apple ID. You have to travel like Dante. Travel to the ninth layer of fucking hell to retrieve your fucking password. What the hell are you talking about? That Apple ID is a bitch. And I must have recovered. I had to recover over the span of two years. I had to recover that Apple ID four or five times. And each time was worse than the last. Um, you have to like, they I have like, have they never had that experience with no. Apple. Like I've actually felt it was one of the easier things to, if you're just changing your password, it's easy. If you're attempting to log in and you fuck up three times and they lock you out, Therein lies the problem. Like you have to wait seventy two hours, and then you have you you have to put in an official request, and they have to take the time and investigate after the lockout period. So if you can't get in and you're locked out of the, your account and you put your password in incorrectly, you have to go through a process, and it's not cool. It's not fun. That that was like the main turnoff for me for uh, for Apple. It was just it was too too much of a pain. It was too secure. I like a little bit of danger in my mobile devices and everything. I like a little insecurity. Uh, um, so well, no, it just it. and I uh, I also enjoy um, just the, the the customization that I can do. If I if I'm if I feel like my phone's getting stale, I can completely change the way it looks, the way it operates. I can change themes. I can change everything around and kind of give it a facelift, um, which is pretty fun. Uh, so just yeah, Android's always been my you on Apple too. Not as much as Android. Android's mm. no. Don't even no. If you mm. jailbreak your Apple, yeah, you can customize it. But no, dude. Like, there's no, no comparison. Any Android person, any person who owns an Android right now that's watching you say no, is calling you a fucking idiot <laughs> through their fucking and then YouTube every screen. Every Apple person watching me is shaking their head. Yeah, mm. I can. I can very much customize. You do not. Thing. You do not get an Apple for like the the, the amount of customization that you can do on Android. Well, it's the useless stuff. Yeah, probably not. But no, the things that you want no, to do. The, yeah. the, the aesthetic changes are pretty nice. And then there's apps that actually change the system. And Apple does not allow you to like do things like that. They don't allow it. You can't change their system. With an Android, you can completely change the system. It's awesome. It's, it's really great. You can actually get into the developer tools. Apple will not allow you to go into the developer tools. And um, I'm happy so, for that. And it lets me not fuck up my phone. There you go. No, that's great. That's great. That's great. I, uh, that was deep. <laughs> that Apple was versus deep. Android. Let us know what you think. What do you think? Could be a good topic. We'll, uh, Actually, we'll, we'll, it we'll, is. It's, we'll it's pose very, that very topic. topic. We'll, we'll pose that topic in the uh, in the Facebook group, and if we get some good responses, we'll talk about it and read your responses on the if show. We have some I really think good responses. We'll have a battle royale. Ooh, only one. <laughs> we'll what I'm talking about, and we'll air it live on pay per view. All right, deeper. When was the last time <sighs> you stole something? When was the last time you stole something? Does happiness count? Inside somebody's heart? That's yeah. every day, baby. <laughs> I can't help that. <laughs> Ladies. Um, the last time you stole something. Um. Okay, so confession time. Like downright I... stole something? Like walked in, took something, and walked out? Like, I, God, I don't... I don't know. I steal gas station sunglasses. If I, I don't like buying sunglasses, um, I don't believe in it. I think it's a crime. So I will go into a gas station hmm. and find a pair of aviators that I like, put them on my okay. head, pay for whatever I went in there for and walk out and have done that for years. Okay. Um, yeah, and that happened maybe five months ago where I lost my sunglasses when I was uh, on my uh, vacation lake trip and <clears throat> I had to go to the to the uh, the gas station and walked out with a new pair of shades. Um, yeah. That's Jonathan so, Peel. So uh, it's Jonathan Peel, 245 Meadow Creek Lane, New Orleans, Louisiana. <laughs> yeah. Uh, go get them! Yeah. Uh, I, 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 I don't, um, God, I'm trying to think like when was the last time I know I have stolen something before. Um, but I just can't, 
remember recently a mutual person that we know has accused me of stealing something and I don't he wouldn't say what it was but I don't know what I don't have no fucking clue what he was talking about. Um, uh, round four in our fantasy draft, you stole the wide receiver that I wanted. Oh, that's true. That's true. I stole the championship from you at the end of last season. That is very true. <laughs> as well. I, I gave it to you. You were having a rough year, and I wanted was you I? to have something to really put your hat on. I think I had that championship locked away in the first game. <laughs> Anyway, regardless. But yeah, um, so yeah, like physical I, I dealing, like know. yeah. Um, hey, well, good on you then. Like, hey, you're you're a moral upright citizen, and we're all happy for it. Like company time. Like, <laughs> I work from home. Like, there is a little bit more. He admitted it. You heard it. That's it. I'm done. No, I mean, cut his payroll. Look, everybody is stole company time. If you haven't, you're a fucking liar. Straight Boss up, makes a dollar. Liar. I make a dime. That's why I poop on company's time. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna use that in the next uh, HR meeting. Um, so yeah, that's why I always uh, save my poops when I gotta go to work. There you go. There you go. That's ten minutes. Uh, Hashtag making money. Making money. Make that money. It's poop money. Yeah, I got something. I'm gonna leave this dig deep segment on a non sequitur <laughs> question about money, and I want you to think about it. Have you ever noticed? That people who have dollar sign tattoos on their body are always broke as shit. Have you noticed that? <laughs> Does everybody's broke as? If you have a dollar you sign, manage, big money hustler, what you want? Broke as fuck, world, right? Broke That's as this fuck. What they're doing. Yeah, they're the ones you should be a- asking. Like it's 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 so it's just irony. I love it. I love it. There was a there was a lady. I love ironic tattoos. There was one time when I was working at Sonic Drive and I was working in the drive thru window and this lady pulled up. She was bigger. No regrets. Bigger woman, but like she had her she had her uh, like a, a crop top and just her her boobs were just like barreling out. She's reaching over and I could tell like on her boob she had one of those really classy boob tattoos, and it mm. said. Stop. Only, I can only be so erect, Travis. And I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, I got about 20% blood flow going right now, just just reminiscing about the situation. But she had a tattoo, and it said, only God can judge me. And I'm like, I got news for you. <laughs> Spoiler alert. No, he's not the only one, because <laughs> I'm judging you pretty hard right now. I love. And I'm recording you, and we're going to share this on Reddit. <laughs> and we're going to share this on the Reddits. All right. Let's end this. Uh, was it 17th? 18th dig deep that we've done wow we are we are really chugging along so we will uh we'll we move have on a grave yeah we almost do let's move on to the next topic